Thanks Dow Strong for sponsoring this video. For today's cook, I'm going to be cooking a brisket 100% under the ground. Is it going to work and the brisket is going to turn out fantastic? Or is this going to be a terrible disaster? I have no idea, but we are about to find out right now. Because this is the underground brisket experiment, so let's do it. And everything starts off with the star of the show, two full packer briskets. Now they're called full packer because they have both muscles, the flat and the point. Now since these are choice grade, I went ahead and decided to leave a little bit of the fat. Usually I take a lot out, but since there's not a lot of intramuscular fat, I decided to leave quite a bit. Because once I was done, this is what it looks like. The leanest part of the brisket, I left half an inch of fat. The fattiest part, however, I removed a little bit more. Because the next thing to do is to go ahead and season them. And for large cuts of beef like this, I like to do something that it's called dry brine. You see, by salting it in advance, it allows the salt to penetrate deeply into the meat. Because as you can see, this is a thick cut of meat. It needs the time for the salt to penetrate. Now I made sure that every single edge of this thing was perfectly seasoned. Because once I have done so, the only thing left to do is to let it rest on my refrigerator overnight. The very next day, I took it out and look. This is the one we're going to be cooking underground. As you can see, there's no sign of salt left. It is a sign that the salt penetrated nicely and deeply into the meat. It needs a little bit of more seasoning and for that, I added a good amount of freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. Just like the salt, I seasoned in both sides and the edges. Since this is my first time cooking something underground, I have no idea what to expect. So I'm gonna protect this brisket as much as possible. And for that, I'm gonna be using this Wagyu fat, also known as Wagyu tallow. I'm hoping that this will protect the brisket quite a bit. But not only that, I also wanted to give an incredible flavor. And I made sure to cover every single edge with it. Like they say, if fat is flavor, what do you think of this? Put it down in the comments down below and let me know. Because at least to me, it looks like heaven on earth. Now since this is gonna be cooking for a very long time, I have no idea what to expect. So I wanted to try something even more crazy. So for that, I transferred it to a cooling rack. Then I laid down some cheesecloth, put my brisket right on top and wrapped the whole thing with it. As the next thing to do was to completely cover with wine. I'm talking about red wine. I am trying to build flavor on top of flavor here, but hopefully the wine is going to make it incredible. That is to be determined real shortly. Once it was fully covered with the wine, I went ahead and got some aluminum foil and started to wrap the whole thing with it. The last thing I want is for any dirt to ruin my brisket. So I made sure to wrap it at least four times. As you can see, once I was done, dirt is not going to get anywhere close. Since we have it ready, the only thing left to do now is to cook it. And the first thing to do is to dig a hole. This is when it's really good to have a nephew. You see, today he's going to earn the brisket as he tried to make the hole as deep as possible. But hey, after digging for about 30 minutes, he managed to do it. I mean, he even got a little bit upset with it. Yet that man definitely earned his food today. Because the next thing to do was to go ahead and get this hoe as hot as possible. So for that, I threw in a bunch of log. Let it catch on fire and get that hole really hot. In total, I burned about 10 logs. I also added a little bit of charcoal as well. I was trying to get this thing as hot as possible because once I did that, it was time to throw in the brisket. Then I put some coals right on top and went ahead and throw the dirt right on top. The biggest challenge is that I have no idea how long this is going to take, so I decided to leave it overnight. Once the hole was fully covered with dirt, the only thing left to do now was to wait. So brisket, now rest in peace and we'll see you tomorrow. Now for comparison, remember I still have one more. This one right here we're going to be treating like we always do. And that is to cook it on my smoker. And to do that, I did the same exact thing. So I went ahead and added a good amount of freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. Once that was done, the only thing left to do was to go ahead and throw it in the smoker. And for that, I'll be smoking this one for 5 hours. Once that's done, I'll be wrapping it in an aluminum foil and letting it cook for an additional 5 hours. And at the same time, by that time, the underground brisket should be ready. And I cannot wait to find out how that one is going to taste. Because now I say it is enough talking and it is time to cook it. So let's do it.
Now, isn't it crazy that that looks good? And before we try it, I want to thank today's sponsor, Downstrong. It is fair to say I have a lot of knives. I mean, check out the background. Not only am I a knife collector, I love them, I use them, I actually sometimes, don't tell anybody, I sleep with them. Well, maybe that sounds weird, but it's true. That is how much I love them. Every single one you see has its purpose. Downstrong not only have beautifully designed knives, they have every single style that will fit your needs. Butcher's knife, they got it. Chef's knife, yeah, they definitely got that. Cleaver, you better believe it. They have everything you can think of, and they also have what you cannot think of. I mean, take a look at this. What would you call this? I call it the king of the hill. It's heavy and epic, no cap. No cap. With hundreds of styles to choose from and incredible designs, I guarantee you're gonna find one that you love. Check them out on the link on the description down below. You will be happy you did. Thank you, Downstrong, for sponsoring this video, but now it's time for us to try this insane experiment. All right, everybody, here we have our brisket feast. Are you guys hungry? Is yeah. It, is it like a brisket experiment today? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Have, Andrew have, knows what it is, guys. You already know because he was there helping me out helping. because- We have like yeah. the beer I was there that. doing all the work <laughs> while Google was there drinking my Coca-Cola. That's right. Anyway, enough talking. So Momo saying we got an experiment going on over yeah, here. Yeah, the beautiful, I guess they're ugly. <laughs> that is correct. I cannot I mean, judge you by this. that. You look at this, your mouth's like salivating, that dripping. One, that one like, is like shiny. Yeah, it's, it's like perfect. Yeah. Over there. <laughs> that one is shiny, but it looks like... It's not shiny, the right but like, no, not, it It's look shiny good. in the same way that a swamp water would be. <laughs> Damn, bro, that was mean. Uh, if it was a very bright day. Hey, listen, to be honest, swamp water is better than what I'm thinking. Yeah. Oh, man. All we want to know is that if it worked, if the brisket is cooked, okay. and if the brisket tastes good and it's edible, because obviously it's like not even fair. You're putting like a bicycle against a Ferrari. That's the comparison, all right? But. Let's give it a try. Sounds good? All right, let's go. Let's just go straight up for the good part. Really? Yeah. The good part? Just in case you are wondering, it is tender. It's, te no, yeah, it's tender. It's really tender. It, it is cooked all the way through. It looks cooked. It looks overcooked. I'm gonna be honest. How are you gonna judge time and temperature here? If you know, put it in the comments down below. Ready to try it? Yeah, it's tender. It's cooked all the way through. Now you know. All right, very first one. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Cheers. Wow. Oh. It's fully cooked. It's cooked. It's cooked all the way through. It's it has a funky flavor. It's not great, it's but, <laughs> but it's cooked. You ever go to a restaurant and they serve you something that they say is brisket? Yeah. That's kind of what this is. That's what it tastes like, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is like when it's your first time making ever, a brisket. <laughs> ever making a brisket and you don't know what the hell you're doing. And then that's so accurate. And then <laughs> and you're still happy that it came out good. And that it came you, out edible. edible. You thought you thought that it was an amazing brisket with an amazing crust. And then your friends and family say that was good. I don't want any more. <laughs> that's what it was that's, about. That's, that's what exactly. This that's what this is. How Everybody. hard was that to cook? Don't ask me. Ask him. <laughs> this was the most annoying cook. <laughs> We ever done. We've ever made. <laughs> Correct. At least for me. You know, Google, it must have been a walk in the park. <laughs> I just gotta be honest. I had a good time, everybody, watching him. Because I was going to say, work. if that's not a lot of work. <laughs> now that now that you have a good neck to hold, I might as well strangle you. <laughs> I gotta tell my mom already. We cooked this underground, my mom. This is earth. Angel, take the hole. We put it in there. And that thing cooked, everybody. It cooked. It's overcooked, I'll be honest, all right? It's overcooked. But, but it's not strong. like bad overcooked that it cannot. No, no, it's extremely tender, like it's just basically fall apart on your mouth. Mm -hmm. that, that's what it is. Stranded on an island, <laughs> you, will, you will have food. You will rather stranded do that. Stranded on an island and you have a brisket and aluminum foil, everybody. <laughs> and and hey, a wine, I put wine as well. I even oh. forgot about the wine. You put wine on this? Put, and why are you fat? No, <laughs> if you one. fell out oh, of a oh, culinary oh. plane and landed on an island, Full of meat. You have everything but a smoker. <laughs> and you had everything except for a smoker. This then maybe it's gonna work. you can make this thing. <laughs> you guys are making it sound like it's bad. It's not bad. No, it's not bad. No, no, no. no, no, no. We're lying. But we're if lying. you yeah. have something to cover the flavor, it will be better. Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, That's what I'm saying. Mm. But to compare, let's just make it official, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's I make mean, it let's I mean, make it really taste bad. Yeah, let's let's let, let's see how <laughs> there's a comparison. Okay. You got it? Let's like, go for a comparison, and I'm just gonna go for the straight up bite. I'm like, can Mr. you see how glistening this one is, oh everybody? This, one, this wow. one makes me want to eat. Yeah, <laughs> I'm cutting over here, and my mouth is just drooping. Hey, look, like, look. Leo asked me, hey, please save me some brisket. There you go. I you think I will. It, you, yeah. <laughs> I think I will. To make it official, cheers, everybody. Mm. Oh, my God. Come on, man. That's how brisket should taste. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. Mm. You don't have a lot of control 
over how hot the ground gets. I have no idea how hot he was. You don't in know there. when you're supposed to take it out. Yeah. yeah. So mm. I'll say it's impressive that you're able to make something edible. Yeah. After putting it in the ground. Correct. I and agree. then digging it back out. Which, without, by the way, without ripping, is a lot harder than you would think. Without ripping the foil aluminum foil. Because of the aluminum foil. <laughs> anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, everything I use is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Make sure you smoke your brisket, please. Smoke your brisket. Biggest advice I can give you, smoke the brisket. Get a good smoker. Uh, you know what? Get a bad smoker. Get a smoker. And don't put your steak in the dirt. <laughs>